All right, welcome back. Okay, so yeah, you were probably expecting to see a finished um, village at this point, but uh, I changed my mind and decided I just wanted to do a few little finishing touches just so that I could let it build on and uh, have the whole thing complete. So uh, with that in mind, let's uh, jump straight in. Now we forgot to put um, some flooring down in, in the center of these inventor workshops. So we're gonna use some white brick, I think, in here. So we'll just uh, get those in. Make sure it's all looking uh, looking good, looking complete. So two on that side, a couple over here. Get all these filled in. Very good. And I did actually notice that we hadn't done the uh, a bit of filling in on the old toilet block. So uh, let's do that now. Let's get that done. Yeah, I sort of, uh, when I was letting it run on, a big tree appeared in the center. So we'll go back to the red brick uh, for these and just uh, put a bit of lining in. Okay, done. Right. So um, let's get these squares finished off and finalized. Let's start on this side. And we've got our greenhouse down. And um, yeah, we're going to pretty that up a little bit and uh, finish off this section. So let's... Uh, Draw another sand line. Now with this square, I want there to be a central point. So it's got to be uh, an odd number across and up. So that's an odd number there. So that should be okay. Um, saying that though, yeah, that, yeah that'll be right. Uh, and then going across, we want another 11 going across, don't we? So, hmm. Yeah, it's a bit of trial and error. I've sort of had a little play with the design that sort of worked. So I just want to make sure that uh, I can remember it. Um, we'll throw some uh, flower beds in, I think. Uh, give it a bit of a, an entrance on each side. One, two. Just trying to measure it out. We've got three there, two there, so I think it would probably be an idea to shunt this across one. Let's put that there, get rid of this. And uh, yeah, we'll get rid of uh, these two. And let's try that again with our tips. And then we should have the same on each side. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Let's get our corner pieces in. And let's pull this down a bit. Now, I want a center piece. So if that's going to be the center. I want to mess around with the um, solar quadrants, the sundials that are uh, provided with the fountain mod or the fountain highborn society mod. So if we take the big one, and saying that, that's maybe we want an even number over here. Um, hmm. Yeah. Where have I gone wrong here? Let's get rid of those. Get rid of those. I may have been right the first time. <laughs> Let's. Um, I'm sort of getting ahead of myself and thinking I've done it wrong, but I might have actually had it right. Let's. Uh, let's see. Yeah, I think that's going to work better. Let's get rid of this road. Let's put another one there. 
And let's try this and see if we can get our solar quadrant sort of smack bang in the center is where we're looking for, really. Um, yeah, let's fill this in. I'm trying to get it done because I want it to. Uh, I want it to build. I want to be able to show you because it's uh, it's going to look good. Okay, and let's bring up our solar quadrants. So if we smack that that down there, let's just make sure we've got the same floor on that side, floor on that side. There we go, brilliant. And uh, yeah, we've used the large, the floor-based solar quadrant there. Uh, you can have smaller ones, and they can either be floor-based or on a pedestal. So let's uh, let's put some of these in as well. And I'm just going to change the orientation so it's just a little bit different. Let's throw those in and uh, we're going to cover it with a little bit of um, trusty green road, green grassy road, like uh, Murray's front garden. And the beauty of these solar quadrants is you can underlay them with road as well so uh, it makes it look a little bit nicer. Okay, so that's done there, and the greenhouse. Um, yeah, well, obviously, the greenhouse is going to have flowers around it, so let's just blitz it with flowers, and uh, yeah, nothing specific. Let's start with white, and we'll start in each corner, and we're going to go up diagonally, like so. And uh, then just do it, yeah, an array of arrangement of different colours. I'm trying to sort of have like a arrow-shaped uh, design. So we've had white, pink. Let's go with red. Uh, what for the center? The pink leafy bellflower. Why not? Okay, uh, let's just throw some pink green leaves down here, here, and here. And in this area, I think I may have already mentioned. If not, then uh, I'm mentioning it now. I want to put some statues in, and. Uh, Having a sort of assortment of statues all around. So we'll start here with a, a jade statue, I think. Let's just stick one there on the roadside. Um, and yeah, let's continue on with uh, putting more flowers in. Let's try some more of these uh, fern style ones. We've got the pink green leaf, we've got the bird's nest fern, and what else have we got? We've got the dry fern. Let's uh, rinse and repeat on either side. I'm going to keep leave the corners uh, blank, just in case anyone wants to cut the corner or anything like that. So, just throw these in. And uh, what next? Well, what haven't we used? We haven't used the lily pads. I'm a big fan of the lily pads, but they're quite flat. So, yeah, I'm thinking maybe not. And what else haven't we used? The red onyx. Chuck a couple of those in. They're going to contrast well with the white, so we'll put some more white in. And what else? That's about it, isn't it? So we're going to have to sort of repeat ourselves now. So let's go for the wild lavender. And what did we use here at the start? It was the white, wasn't it? So we'll go for the uh, the other pink leafy. Bellflower, yep. Yeah. Okay, so overkill on the flowers there, but uh, again, it'll uh, I think it'll give a nice effect um, surrounding the greenhouse, which is what we're looking for. So, okay, over here, yeah. So I think what it was is I needed an even number over here, so which means I'm going to need an odd number over here. So let's try and take a uh, halfway point. We're going to do. On this side, 
Um, let's get some road up so we can see what we're doing. Let's draw that across there. Uh, is that going to give us a central piece? Let's have a look. Actually, no, hold on. Uh, let's do it there. Now, what have we got to play with? This is going to be an odd number. 11. 12. Okay, so let's put a line across there. So we've got an 11 by 11. So we're going to have a central point. And, uh, yeah, I quite like the, um, the sort of oak tree. We've used it before in the, uh, near the sort of outdoor wedding chapel. But, uh, yeah, I'm a big fan of the oak. So, um, yeah, we're going to throw that down. Sort of reminiscent of, uh, it was a town in the... Uh, Elder Scrolls Oblivion, Shaden Hall maybe, so we're on the sort of west, northwestern side of the map and they had like a big tree with um, some benches around it and things, so I'm going to go for that sort of look. Let's bring up the uh, flower beds again and uh, swang some corners around this. Okay, so we've got our uh, surrounded oak tree. Maybe you chuck a bit of sand road in for our minions to walk around. And uh, yeah, benches, we'll put some of those in. And then we're going to go for wood benches. We use a lot of stone, so uh, yeah, let's try the wooden ones. Now, I want this design, this flat design, not the one with the back on, because I want to have it orientated this way so it's quite close to the path. And if we have that one, the sort of bench looks like it's the wrong way around, so let's uh, throw a few of these down. What have we got? Let's just put one there. Let's leave a space in the center. Spin them up. And do the same on either side. Okay, so we've got a central sort of uh, meeting point for all the, uh, the thinkers around the uh, town, on this little community specifically, and um, yeah, some flowers, um, sort of overkill on the flowers, so let's stick with the, the fern style ones, so, and we'll, we've got three, so we'll leave a, um, space for the other two. And we'll do the same on either side. So one, two, three. There we go. Let's take this next one, do the same. They're just gonna go after. Um, yeah. Doing it backwards, throwing me out. Right, okay. Uh, the dry fern, so let's fill in the gaps. Nice, so we've got a little uh, a little place to chill, some nice flowers, place to sit down. Let's um, play about with some more flower beds. Let's just put one row on each side, well, on the left and the right. We'll leave the uh, the front aspect and the rear aspects uh, empty. And uh, yeah, let's um, mark out the square with uh, some more trees. And we'll go for a bit of colour this time. Let's go for the maple. Just. Uh, Throw it easy. I just like to orientate the tree in a different direction when I'm putting them down, just so that when you're looking at it, it doesn't look identical, and uh, you're sort of seeing the tree from a different uh, different aspect. Um, yeah, let's uh, let's put some more statues in. We've got some horse statues. Could throw some of these down for the entrance to the park. We've got another double statue. Um, Sort of uh, the guy on the back of his llama. 
Yeah. Could be Murray. Let's say it's Murray. Murray and his llama. Douche. Okay, so they're in. Um, so yeah, I think that little square is done. Let's put a hedge across to separate the tailor. Um, where do we want this? Let's put it there. Let's throw those in. And yeah, the marble statue is what I really want to sort of uh, put down because um, they're by the, probably by far the, uh, in my opinion, the nicest statue. With the uh, with the jade statue coming a close second, but these two, yeah, definitely my favourites. So uh, yeah, let's uh, throw some in. And uh, yeah, it'd be rude not to put some more flowers in, wouldn't it? We're going flower overkill. Let's put some lily pads in. And what else? Yeah, the leafy bellflower. What a fave. Some white ones in. But a bit red. A red llama flower. And we could. We could put like a small flower bed. Along the back here, actually. I guess I've got quite used to the uh, the look of the, the flower beds, sort of right next to the hedges. I think we've done it. Um, we did it over here at the entrance to this little community here, didn't we? I think it looks quite a nice effect. Quite like it. So uh, yeah, we may even use it a little bit more. Um, Okay, so that's in. We've got some space here at the side of this tailor, we weren't too sure on. I'm just going to put some more um, of those mobile market stalls, the uh, little carts in. Um, let's just do one of each. Uh, we don't have enough room on this side, so we'll stick with wooden iron. Wooden iron is more important than stone up at this end. Um, although, saying that, we do need stone, I think, in the workshops, so. Um, but we've got one here, so that should be okay. So yeah, I think that has uh, completed uh, this settlement. So all really I need to do, yeah, probably bang some uh, more palisade wall around the sides. Let's get that in. The other corner style. Yeah, let's take it down here. And you know what? I think uh, because we've got fishermen on each side of the traders' dock, let's put an entrance in there for them. No doors, I don't think, on the, on this one. Let's throw one there. Let's throw one this side. And uh, let's just finish off our corners. Okay, corners are in. So I'm just going to fill in. I'll do these offline. Um, it's... Uh, it's pretty obvious what I'm going to be doing, so... Actually saying that... Mm, I did have an idea when... Um, yeah... Well, no, I'm going to do it offline, because what I'm going to do is I'm probably going to open up some doors behind the dry storage, so that we've got a... Uh, we can have a road work going out uh, this side to the port area, which we'll be doing uh, probably in the next episode, and then um, yeah, uh, while this is all building, I mean, if you look at the build account, we've got 705, so I'm probably going to have to turn some of these buildings off and just sort of do it in stages. Probably get the houses built first, so we've got people up this end. In fact, let's turn a few buildings off because again, some buildings are going to need blueprints, uh, which I don't think from memory we have. So let's have a double check. Blueprints, blueprints, blueprints. We've got 37. It's not enough for all the buildings that we want to get done. I mean, these are 10 each, I think. 
Yes, yeah, so that's 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60. The difference I did notice between the resource exchange one and two is you don't need blueprints to build resource exchange one. So if you want to use these buildings just purely for uh, purchasing food, now you need coins to do that. And uh, yeah, you can either sell items to get coins or you can just order the coins from the trading post. So I think what we'll be doing is uh, requesting this guy to bring us loads of coins. It's, it's worth one, the coin. So you, know, you can convert, say, 10,000 firewood into 10,000 coins and then use those coins in resource exchange one uh, to just be buying food. So it's a good way of uh, pushing up your, um, your food tally uh, without having the necessity to either buy blueprints or create them with the inventor workshops. So just a little tip there, although I think the resource exchange two looks a little better. Um, but yeah, so we're gonna be needing to buy some uh, more blueprints and probably some coins. And uh, yeah, once this guy's gone, uh, where is he? Here we go, yeah. Once he's destroyed, we'll do a bridge, and I'll probably do that offline as well, just due to the necessity, because I'm going to need to be pulling guys from all over to get this, this lot done. So, uh, so yeah, you might find that there's a couple of doorways over here, but I'll point that out uh, once we've completed this uh, completed this little village here. And, uh, yeah, with that, we'll um, leave it there, and I'll get on with letting this build. And then definitely, 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 at the start of the next episode, you will be seeing a completed... Uh, completed a little village and I'll work through it you know show you the mods and the models and that and uh, yeah give you five minutes on that and then we're gonna go over here and we're gonna hammer this port area and uh, yeah more houses I think we're a little bit of a deficit at the moment for houses yeah but quite a considerable amount um, I'm not looking to grow the population too much more so um, I mean in terms of the amount of people we've got at the moment we've got over 2,000 and uh, as you can see the game definitely gets a little bit sluggish when we get above that number so but yeah I want to get this section done in the next episode we're just going to hammer that I'll give you a little show and tell of this at the start and then after that oh god only knows it's this side of the map then um, yeah and I'm uh, going to create a space here some animals get this port done and then I think we're going to be done with this build it's been fun uh, some of the set pieces that we've managed to uh, to create have been really good, but uh, yeah, I've actually been tinkering with the uh, the next series that we're going to do with Banished, and uh, yeah, it's looking really good. So um, yeah, I want to get this one done because I've got loads more ideas for the next episode, uh, next series. So uh, yeah, I'll leave it there, and I'll see you next time.